Hello and welcome. This is Drew Vision IT Consulting and this is another in our IT Quick Bites, IT Concepts in 5 Minutes. Today we're going to talk about the Change Advisory Board, also known as the CAB, why it's important, why you need to understand its criticality for your business and how it protects you and your IT operations. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so on the screen we've got our ChatGPT definition of a change advisory board in less than 150 words. Uh, I think this is actually an outstanding definition. I think it checks all of the boxes. Uh, the blanks that I guess I would fill in is, is who are those roles, right? So when it talks about stakeholders, well, it's the people who propose the change. So as we learn from our 10 definitions of a change, in or the 10 aspects rather in the last episode um, this is the change proposal process so team members have submitted changes to be executed in the course of change windows according to the change schedule and these uh, forums these cab meetings which are generally held weekly are all about um, understanding the change right it's steps who's executing the change, whether it's one resolver group or multiple, um, you know, any potential risk that might arise. Uh, and as I noted in the prior video as well, it's incumbent upon these people to protect the business. It is not a rubber stamping exercise, right? Uh, another point that I would make here that's not in this definition is this is not an ARB, right? This is not an architectural review board, which I'll cover in a different episode. Uh, later, uh, an ARB decides, okay, well, what types of softwares and solutions are appropriate for the enterprise uh, in the context of the future direction of the company, right? Whether you're using WISE or otherwise. Um, in this particular case, this is not that, and it shouldn't be confused as such. This is literally about proposed changes and the risk they present to the business. Uh, typically, there's a cab leader, somebody in the CIO office, uh, whose role is these ITIL functions, right? And so one of those functions being leading the cab meeting, so that's setting the agenda, right? And you're going to set the agenda with your most critical changes first, and then your medium and low subsequently. And that's materially it. I would say the only escape to the cab process would be emergency changes, Right, and those typically have a delegate or um, change approvers for those exception circumstances, whether they be in IT itself or the business or generally both. So with that said, this is another in our series of IT Quick Bites, IT Concepts in Five Minutes. This was about the cab. If you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe and please add a comment below if there's any topics that you'd like for me to jump into in future episodes. Until then, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks from Drew Vision.